the methodology that you've used the concepts that you've used how the code structure is if you're writing on your paper it helps you retain that better you know most of the times in interviews the interviewer asks you what is the time complexity of this approach that you've written so if you start analyzing time complexities or space complexities of your codes from the very beginning it will be much easier for you YouTube channel. This is Tripti and in this video I'll be talking about how to master DSA for all tech interviews. So we'll be discussing upon or about few things that you should take care of or few things that you should practice or inculcate in your daily habits so that you are able to master DSA properly or master DSA in a way that you are able to attempt well during your tech interviews. So we'll discuss all these things in the form of pointers. So yeah, let's just get into the video. All right, so for the first point, I would like to say strong basics. So strong basics include obviously the fundamentals of any programming language, and that is your data types, the ranges of different data types. Then you have your functions, then loops, and then you have pointers and in pointers, how does a pointer arithmetic work? So all these things, all these small things can actually, you know, confuse you or can make you, you know, in, uh, write incorrect solutions. So make sure these basic things, these fundamentals are absolutely clear. And not only about these very basics, even if you're studying data structure, make sure every concept that you study, you are clear with the basics. Don't try to uh, like jump onto solving problems directly, jump onto solving hard problems directly. Make sure everything or the basic implementation part of each and everything that you're studying is clear enough because at times you can get stuck at the tiniest things and you'll regret doing that and you'll feel like if I would have revised the basics properly this was not, this would have not happened so that is why I make sure that your basics are very strong so next point if I talk about data structures make sure to pick data structures properly don't pick random data structures and don't also stick on to one data structure for too long start picking data structure according to a particular format like you can refer any youtube video you can refer a roadmap you can refer any online resource and start with all the data structures one by one and once you've done some uh, basic questions around one data structure you have got the conceptual clarity you have uh, practiced few interview questions that come way too much from that particular data structure then you are good to go good to jump to another data structure so this way just uh, keep on uh, jumping onto one data structure from another and make sure all the implementation based uh, basics are clear for you and also practice as much as you can don't forget to practice on your pen and paper or using your pen and paper at times people make this mistake of practicing only on systems let me tell you one thing people who practice using your papers are able to retain things more the methodology that you've used the concepts that you've used how the code structure is if you're writing on your paper it helps you retain that better and uh, i'll suggest try it once the more you practice the more you scribble on your paper the more you do the rough work on your paper it will help you understand things better and even if i talk about dry running your codes so dry running that is you're like playing with your test cases trying different operations on your test cases if you do that on your paper it will help you understand your codes better so yeah that is for your data structures point like make sure that you're clear with the basics and also uh, make a habit of practicing things on your paper so third most important point i would like to say is time and space complexity so not only focusing on problem solving or don't only focus on writing a solution of a particular problem uh, just focus or also focus on improving the time and space complexity of your codes so whenever you are writing a solution to a particular problem you should be aware of you should understand how the code is working and you should be aware of its time and space complexity not only because you should know for that particular code but because you also want to further optimize it so uh, at times or you know most of the times in interviews the interviewer asks you what is the time complexity of this approach that you've written so if you start analyzing time complexities or space complexities of your codes from the very beginning it will be much easier for you 
even if you're not able to understand or calculate for a particular program it's okay even if you're trying to do that at some point of time you'll encounter that question again you'll be able to understand the concept of how the time complexity was calculated for that particular problem or for that particular approach you'll be able to understand that better but if you do not make this habit of trying to analyze the time and space complexity even once or even when you whenever you're doing a question then it will result you know like loose concepts around your time and space complexity so that is why I make a habit of analyzing it because at the end in the interviews it will be asked from you all right so your next point is code optimization at times you know when you're solving a problem you just focus upon writing a solution for that problem but no you don't have to stop there make sure if you have written your approach you are trying to optimize that code what does optimization means how you can improve your approach how you can reduce your time complexity again for optimization you need to understand the concepts of time and space uh, space complexity so that is why make sure you are thorough with them and code optimization is an integral thing it happens a lot and it's asked a lot in your interviews you'll definitely be asked uh, you know how to optimize your particular code in one of my interviews uh, i was given one problem and like the whole interview was based on optimizing that problem to the very extent like first i was asked to you know optimize its time complexity then further how you can uh, optimize the time complexity and at the end it was like optimizing it uh, like the optimizing the space complexity as well so that is why it is very essential so make sure you're thorough with that and code optimization if you have inculcated it as a habit in your daily life so it will be better for you and for uh, if at all you're not able to think of a better approach you can also refer to the solutions that are available on the internet so you can read those solutions and you'll be able to understand the different approaches to that particular problem which are more efficient so yeah this was about uh, code optimization so the next point i would like to say is interview questions make sure you practice interview questions especially of a particular company that you're going to interview for the previous interview questions that have been asked there and more or less the interview questions at times get repeated not like the same company might ask the same question it might be like a question asked in different company might be asked in this company like if there are a and b companies a question previously asked in a company can be asked in b company so there are certain questions that repeat themselves so that is why you don't want to miss a chance when you know uh, being confident or have already studied or have some knowledge about a particular question being asked in an interview Uh, so yeah more or less at times the question might not be exactly same but it might be a variation of that particular problem so that is why if you have done this smart work of practicing previous interview questions it will help you a lot it will help you gain confidence as well so make sure you practice that and there are multiple sites multiple uh, platforms available and uh, furthermore you can read people's uh, like interview experiences there you can read what all questions were asked in their interviews and how they answered this was about your interview question so for the next point i would like to say time bounded solving so as you as you people know like all your coding grounds and even your interviews they happen in a particular span of time in a particular span of time you are supposed to solve problems if i talk about coding grounds and there are mcqs as well so that is why if you have a habit of doing time bounded study so you will be able to perform better in that Uh, you know time bounded situation you will panic less so that is why uh, maybe just you know put your alarms put a time or that i will study or maybe check your clocks or put a, anything like that in which you can track your time and uh, apart from this even you can give contests because uh, like in coding rounds you will be able to you know coding rounds and your contests that you've given uh it will be more or less the same because in that you're practicing or you're solving some questions in a particular amount of time so it will help you being prepared for coding rounds in advance and even for your interviews since it will be completely time bounded so your yeah, time bounded study can help you a lot in facing that situation with more confidence and being more mentally prepared so this was about for this point so lastly i would like to say mock interviews so for coding rounds to get familiar with the interface of how the coding rounds are going to be uh, it's essential or it's important you give some or few contests if i talk about interviews so giving mock interviews helps you in getting an idea of how your actual interview might look like 
and in if you give mock interviews you also get an idea on how you're supposed to manage your time there and uh, you know even in your mock interviews you don't know the other person it's just that they're not hiring it's just that they're not actual you know uh, employees from a particular company that are there to hire you but you still get to experience that environment in your mock interviews you get to experience uh, how much time you have you are supposed to take or how you're supposed to answer to a particular problem or how you're supposed to you know ask for time or how you're supposed to uh, interpret or how you're supposed to basically tell them what you're thinking so everything all these things will help you give an idea of what your actual interview might look like so that is why i'll definitely suggest give mock interviews i gave some too so you can find multiple sites on the internet just pick any of them and start giving mock interviews you don't have to give one daily but yeah uh, once a while just give a mock interview so that you are confident and you don't feel all scared and panicky on the day of your actual interview so yeah this was about for this video i discussed all the things in the form of pointers which are necessary for your tech interview starting with how you should keep your basics strong how you should not be stuck on to one data structure for too long and don't pick them randomly and practice all the data structures properly practice all the questions interview questions of every data structures that have come before because it will give you an advantage because at times questions do get repeated or maybe the type of those questions to get repeated and then do time bounded study and also give mock interviews so things like these can help you become better for all your tech interviews and obviously you have to practice as much as you can and that will help boost your confidence and you have to just stay calm during your interviews you'll be able to excel them properly so yeah this was about this uh, this was about it for this video and thank you so much for watching it and if you have any doubts any queries you can write them down in the comments and also if you like this video please like and share it with your friends and also subscribe to the coding and jazz youtube channel have a nice day everyone bye bye